Welcome to Boreal News. Rescue operation in Nepco started yet to rescue the trapped persons. Since the water pressure in pipeline of Nepco had receded, a rescue operation had begun on Sunday V hour by diverting water flowing inside the two-storied basement turbine room where four Nepco officials are suspected to be trapped. The water pressure in the pipeline had damaged the valves in the pipeline causing difficulties to stop the water flowing in the pipeline. Intake gate connecting the pipeline was closed on Saturday night following which water pressure in the pipeline was receded. The burst in the water tunnel on Monday at around 4 a.m. that carries water at 12,000 liters per second from the Nepco Reservoir to the Kopili Hydropower Project site led to massive flooding and a water fountain that rose up to several hundred feet into the sky. 90% machineries of the project were damaged due to water logging. We have started our operation to rescue the trapped persons this morning. However, we have no trace of the missing or trapped person. A rescue team of NDRF and SDRF are trying their best. We hope the trapped persons will be rescued soon, said Dimahasa Deputy Commissioner Amitab Rajkoa on Sunday evening. On Sunday, as per directed by Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal, on Friday, a high-power team comprising of Hills Area Development Minister Sam Ronghang visited the blast site along with Karbianglong's MLA Numal Momin, Lon Dimahasau MLA Bibi Hagjar and delegates of North Kachar Hills Autonomous Council's members, including its chief executive member Debolal Gorlusa and others. Independent Director of NEPCO Vijay Kumar Gupta said that the disaster was caused due to corroding of metal in NEPCO machineries due to acidity of Kopili reverse water extract from coal mining in Meghalaya. He also said that they had warned the union government including Assam and Meghalaya government on rising acidity in the water but the authorities paid no attention. The project has two number of dams and two reservoirs, one on the Kopili River and the other on the Umrong stream where the blast took place. Water from the Kopili Reservoir is utilized in the Khandong power station through a 2,852 meter long tunnel to generate 50 megawatts of power. The tail water from Khandong powerhouse is led to the Umrong Reservoir. The water from Umrong Reservoir is taken through a 5,473 meter long tunnel to the Kopili power station to generate 200 megawatt of power. People of the localities blame the NEPCO for the accident in the Heidel project and say that there is no guarantee the Khandong power station will not be affected. General Manager of NEPCO, Debatosh Bhattacharji, said that they are doing their job at best level and repairs are done wherever necessary. Assam Chief Minister on Friday ordered probe behind the accident by engaging Deputy Inspector General of Police Southern Range P.K. Datta. Other hand, Dimasa Student Union General Secretary Pramit Sengyung said that since it is a matter of technical and not of law and order, inquiry of executive or judicial will carry a positive result. Security guard is one of the 